I, I, I walk tall. I'm so proud to be in front of people. When little kids come up, oh, they'll stare me down so much. 12 years down the line, they might grow up to be a doctor or um, um, a therapist that helps amputees, all because they met that one stranger that maybe just changed their life a little bit. Something that happened by chance. Uh, we didn't look to work with amputees. It happened because of what we actually accomplished in Seoul, Korea. Uh, both Todd and I were the fastest leg empty sprinters in the world. Uh, Todd ran 100 meters in 14 seconds, and my 100 meters on the below the knee process was 11.7. It was a running clinic in the beginning, and that was the goal was to build our Paralympic team. Barcelona, Spain, and in Atlanta was our last Paralympics in 96. Every single person in Todd's race, with the exception of one guy from someplace around the world, we had taught to run. But what we were seeing was that there was a vast majority of folks that were coming out that didn't really want to learn to run just to do more because the reality is, is that we just don't get enough rehab. Uh, our healthcare system doesn't allow us the true time we need on these artificial legs. So therapy is limited and that's when we decided to uh, pursue a program that would help support amputees on a long-term basis. Uh, when a vascular surgeon calls us in to meet somebody who is contemplating amputation and you prepare them for what's going to happen next, it, it's a big thing. Uh, when we go in, especially if it's like spring or in summer or fall, we're wearing shorts. Just us walking into that room sometimes really helps that person to understand that I'm going to be able to do things again. I'm going to be able to walk again. But being so. around other amputees, you see how they do it. Um, and then you take that subconsciously into your own mind and then you work it into your own path. So being able to watch somebody walk has made me be able to bend my knees, has made me be able to get on the ground and get back up. One of the longest programs that we have today is the program that we've been running with SRT here in Indiana. And the program is now in 13 states and 26 cities around the country. And again, you run out of time in therapy, this is where programs like this allow that person to keep excelling once they think therapy is over, the walk in school begins.